Caribbean Airlines now owns 83.5% of Air Jamaica and the new majority shareholders are keen on turning around service immediately and profitability within three years. We interviewed Chairman of Caribbean Airlines, George Nicholas III, on some key issues. Do you view the partnership with Air Jamaica as an example of that elusive Caribbean integration? The simple answer is yes. There is something very magical that is happening at this moment. I've had the chance to read 26 years of board minutes of BWIA, and over 26 years they have repeatedly tried to do this Caribbean dream, and since Federation in 64 or so, we have tried to come together. CSME has not really worked, and many other uh, chances to come together have not worked. The only thing that works is Caribbean cricket. And I think perhaps one Caribbean airline is the best opportunity for this generation, my generation, to have a one airline, a one dream, one passion. And to that extent, we believe in the freedom of the uh, brands to operate on their own. How valuable is the Air Jamaica brand in your estimation? I don't have a value for the goodwill. What I do know is that we have paid every single loss since uh, May of this year, April or May of this year. Um, it's quite a lot of money. We have trained all of the pilots to fly the new 737-800 aircraft next generation. The only aircraft to share a similar cockpit is the 777. And so in order for us to fly to London, it's a lot easier for us to migrate the pilots to the 777 aircraft. So we are cutting edge. And that is something that Cal is known for. We fly the best airlines in uh, the best aircraft type in the world. Something that Jamaicans have become used to, and I would like them to try the Air Jamaica experience now. They're used to their bags arriving two days later. They fly and their bags come two days later and that's just Air Jamaica. Well, that's something that they will not experience on the new Air Jamaica. What sort of return on investment are you anticipating from this deal? We will not see um, the benefit of this merger uh, until two or three years from now. Uh, a lot of hard work has gone into this relaunching. Uh, a lot of thought and good thinking has gone into making good decisions and um, you won't see the results for, for a few years. What role do you anticipate that your minority partner will play in this exercise? I can say that on the board every voice has an equal voice and if there is a point that is made by a director Irregardless of the percentage that they represent, they have an equal voice and it is entirely possible that we can go into a board meeting with our mindset on one idea and that one director can say something, we do something totally different. What's the broad strategic vision for Air Jamaica? It will be the airline of choice for people who choose to come to an English-speaking destination in the Caribbean. According to the Caribbean Airlines chairman, Jamaicans can also expect significant improvement from Air Jamaica in certain operational areas, including being on time 80% of the time instead of the 45% which obtained in the latter part of 2010. The Caribbean Airlines chairman was careful to point out that this was more because of the type of aircraft used and not necessarily the fault of staff. For Business Content Jamaica, I'm Owen James.